What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Moneyachi TV, man. Today, we got some great news about Lil TJ, man. Our news broke a couple hours ago. That Lil TJ is awake and alert, talking and moving since the horrific June 22nd attempted robbery and shooting where he was shot multiple times in the chest and neck area in Edgewater, New Jersey. Now, sources, well, close to TMZ and close to the situation. We know TMZ get the news before the news get the news, man, but... We got the details right here. According to TMZ, it says Lil TJ is making some significant progress in his recovery after the rapper was shot multiple times. And while he remains hospitalized, things are starting to move in a good direction. Sources familiar with TJ's situation tells TMZ he's awake and alert, even speaking on his own. What's most promising is that doctors recently removed his breathing tube, and when speaking, his voice sounds just like it did before the scary incident. Now, that's honestly, that's a blessing right there. Because when I read that he got shot in the neck area, I'm like, man, this is probably going to hurt his career, you know, but as long as he survives, man, but I don't know if his if his singing voice will ever be the same. But the fact that it had no no damage as of right now, and he sounds like he did before, you know, that's that's very that's very crazy, man. But continuing, it says our sources say Lil TJ was shot multiple times in the chest and neck area. And now that he's able to communicate, the cops want him to speak on the details surrounding the shoot. Concluding, it says, as we reported, a man named Mohammed Kanate was the alleged trigger man involved in the June 22nd incident. He's since been arrested. Cops say the whole thing happened when Kanate allegedly tried to rob Lil TJ. Now, it's been eight days. And I ain't gonna lie, a couple days ago, I was actually thinking about Lil TJ. And I was, I was worried about him because I'm like, you know, to be unconscious for a whole week, a whole week that he's never gonna have any any type of memory from. I don't know you know, just a week of, of absolutely nothing, of absolutely nothing, man, but all in all, though, man, I'm glad Lil TJ is okay, and I just want to get my thoughts, you know, on the situation, obviously, it's a blessing, because this could have easily been another one of those, you know, promising career cut short due to gun violence, another rapper gone, you know, RIPs and all that, it could have easily been another tragedy, for the industry, man. But I do want to say this, man. I hope if TJ can take anything from this, because honestly, this is like his second life right now. If we're being real, you know, just be more vigilant, move a lot smarter. Um, you know, of course, these things happen a lot to a lot of good people. You know, you gotta kind of stay vigilant and stay dangerous in its own way, man. But if there's any way we could see a silver lining from this situation, you know, a tragedy like this. Um, you know, the music about to go crazy. The music about to go crazy. You know, he's going to have even a hell of a story to tell now after this. So I'm excited, looking forward to the new music in the future. Um, You know, I definitely am going to continue to send strength over to little TJ as he, you know, deals with being in a hospital, recovery and everything, man. So can't wait to see him back in the studio. Can't wait for the next drop. Get well, little TJ. Y'all sound off y'all thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Y'all new to the channel. Y'all rock with me want daily reaction videos and hip-hop news. Hit that subscribe button for me to the next video. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Money Yachi TV. I'm out.